English phrases for bad travel experiences from EspressoEnglish.net. Have you ever had a trip go wrong? Here are some English phrases for bad travel experiences. My flight was overbooked, so I got bumped to a later one. If a flight is overbooked, it means there were too many people scheduled to be on the flight. The airline sold too many tickets, and there wasn't enough space for everyone. So some passengers might get bumped to a later flight. If you're bumped, it means you can't go on the original flight, and you have to wait for a different flight later. It took me four days to recover from the jet lag. Jet lag is when you travel to a different time zone, and your body's clock is different from the local time. When you have jet lag, you often wake up too early or stay up too late. It takes some time for your body to adjust to the new time zone, so you're often tired. My hotel was in a really seedy area. A seedy area, or a sketchy area, is a place that looks dirty, disorganized, and possibly dangerous. I was mugged in the city center in broad daylight. If you are mugged, it means a robber or thief stole valuable things from you, such as your wallet, cell phone, purse or bag, or jewelry. And in broad daylight means the event happened during the daytime and was clearly visible. The weather was miserable. The rain didn't let up for a minute. Describing the weather as miserable means it was terrible. It was very unpleasant. And if you say the rain didn't let up, it means the rain didn't stop. We forgot to bring bug spray and got completely bitten up. Bug spray is also called insect repellent. It's a chemical product you can apply to your skin to keep insects away. And if you got bitten up, it means you got lots of bites by mosquitoes or other insects. I ended up with huge blisters after our walking tour. Blisters are pockets under your skin that are filled with fluid. People often get blisters on their feet after walking, running, or hiking for a long time. The phrasal verb ended up is used to describe the end result of a situation. Something I ate didn't agree with me, and I got the runs. If you say that a food didn't agree with you, it means that it made you a little bit sick. Your stomach felt agitated, and maybe you threw up. That means vomited, or got the runs. That means you had diarrhea. I bought a t-shirt, but it was a total rip-off. A rip-off is something that is extremely overpriced. It costs much more than it should. The place was nothing but a tourist trap. A tourist trap is a place that is designed to attract tourists and make them spend lots of money. I was hung over on the last day of my trip. If you are hung over, it means you feel sick because you drank too much alcohol the night before. If you're hung over, you might have a headache, feel tired, and perhaps have a stomach ache too. I had to catch the red eye in order to get back in time for work. A red eye flight is a flight that leaves very late at night and arrives early the next morning. It is called a red eye because you probably won't get very much sleep, so your eyes will be red and irritated at the end of the flight. If you'd like to learn English for travel and daily life, take my Everyday English Speaking course. It will teach you useful phrases for travel, shopping, socializing, and more. These are the phrases that native English speakers use in everyday life. Click on the link in the video to see the lesson list and sign up.